All right, so I had a request to find the mass of the sun. So that's the problem we're going to do today, figure out the mass of the sun. So to do that, we're going to use uh, essentially the concept of orbit. So you have the sun, right? You have the Earth. The Earth's going around the sun. And we can use that principle to help us figure this out. So for example, the, the sun and the Earth are pulling on each other through the force of gravity. So let's kind of set that up. So the force of gravity we know from Newton's law of gravity is equal to the constant times the mass of the sun times the mass of the earth divided by the distance between them. So I'm going to use r for this. Um, so r is again the distance between the two. Okay. So we know that the earth is going in a circle here right or a near circle I guess to truly do this problem you'd have to take into account the fact that it's kind of an ellipse but uh, we're gonna keep it simple for today and just assume that it's a nice circle so that means that the force of gravity that's essentially that's equal to ma now this is a centripetal acceleration so that's the acceleration that's kinda keeping this moving in a circle keeping the earth in its orbit Okay, uh, this mass right here is the mass of Earth. Obviously, the Earth is the thing moving in the circle, not the Sun. So then we just set these two things equal to each other, right? So we're going to have big G, mass of Sun, mass of Earth, divided by the, the distance between them. That's equal to MAC. Now remember, the acceleration, um, centripetal acceleration is equal to V squared over R. So let's write that in. That's the mass of Earth times the velocity. Now that would be the velocity of Earth, how fast it's moving going around the sun here. Okay, so that's kind of the basic equation here. We can simplify this a little bit, right? R cancel, one R cancels, the mass of Earth cancels. Okay, and that leaves us with the, let's shrink this over here. So we get the mass of sun is equal to the velocity of the Earth times the distance between them divided by big G. Let's define some of our variables here again. So R is, that's the distance between the Earth and the Sun. And you just can look this number up. The number is 1.496 times 10 to the 11th meters. Okay, and then big G, that's just a constant. So that's 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11. Now the velocity of Earth, we could look that up as well, but I think it'd be more fun if we calculate that. So remember, um, over here we have the Earth going around, around the sun, right? So we know that it's going to make one big old circle, and we know that it makes that one circle in one year. So we can say, well, velocity, if you think back to just simple distance over time, one full circle is going to be a circumference. So we can say 2 pi times r, that's the circumference, where again, r is this distance. You can see why we use r. It's basically the radius of the circle that the Earth is taking. And then divided by t, now the time would be the time, well, that's one year, the time for one full revolution around the sun. So let's convert that into seconds. So one year is equal to 365, a little bit more, right? Let's just say 365.24 days times one day is 24 hours. One hour is 60 minutes, and one minute is 60 seconds. So all that to say is that the time here, let me go ahead and calculate this out, I get 3.156 times 10 to the seventh seconds. So now let's use this to go ahead and calculate the velocity of the Earth. So we're going to go 2 times pi, and then the radius that we got earlier, 1.496 times 10 to the 11th meters. And then we just calculated that time here, 
that is 3.156 times 10 to the 7 seconds. Okay, we calculate that out and we get basically about 30,000 meters per second. Let me see what I get exactly. 29,783 meters per second. So that is very fast, by the way. That's about 65,000 miles an hour. So think about that as you're sitting back in your chair right now. So the last thing we're going to do is go ahead and plug that velocity into here. So the mass of the sun we say is equal to 29783 squared times the distance away. Distance away is 1.496 times 10 to the 11th meters. And then divide all of that by a big G constant 667 times 10 to the negative 11. Okay, and the final answer then, plug that in, and you get approximately 2.0 times 10 to the 30 kilograms.